It's been nice. Uh, you know, the weather's been really good, obviously, and uh, I think it's a lot more green than I expected. But uh, so far, you know, the the hotel's been nice, and we we're staying right by the cathedral there, and it's uh, really nice. And and yesterday we went down and had lunch uh, by the water there, and uh, you know, get, get to spend the next uh, the rest of the day and. and Tomorrow, uh, sightseeing and, and seeing everything, I guess, what uh, Cologne has to uh, offer, and so far, so good. You're an old, old buildings kind of guy, though, you told me, so you like Europe. It's yeah, I, you know, it's, it's always cool to come back to, to Europe and see the history and things and uh, all that type of stuff. Sometimes, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, being from, being from uh, the West Coast, you realize uh, how small our history is uh, on that side of the world compared to uh, a place like this. So it's it's cool to be around uh, architecture and history and all that type of stuff. So I think it's something to to soak in. How, how's the jet lag? Uh, I felt actually pretty good today. I, I can't speak for everyone, but for myself, uh, uh, so far so good. Uh, I was able to sleep till 7 a.m., which was a good thing. But uh, just going to try to do what I can to, to stay up until uh, – Till 10 p.m. tonight. What's it like to see Leon in his hometown? Like, can you see? Are there little things you you, you can point out? Yeah, it's 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 obviously uh, pretty awesome and special for for him to be able to come uh, to to do this and be a part of this. And um, I mean, for any European player, they don't really get the chance to play in their hometown. So for him to be able to come do this is it's, it's got to be a, a, a special feeling, especially when his dad is coaching, uh, you know, coaching the, the hometown team here. So uh, you can see, see it in him how uh, uh, excited he is to, to be back. I mean, this is where he skates in the summertime. So it's, uh, it, it, that's another uh, thing that comes with it. And, you know, it's also nice having someone that knows the city uh, show you around and, 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 and take you around. So. Um, I know he's a, he's he's really excited for the game on Wednesday because it's a chance for him to play as an Oiler Oiler in his hometown. So um, it should be a, it should be a, a great night for everyone. Did he give you tips, places to go, something to eat? Uh, yeah, he, he's the one that took us down by the river, and he's got something oh, really? yeah. he's got something set up for us uh, here today. So uh -huh. um, yeah, so it's he's been a t great tour guide so far. Can you describe that place? Just so I can tell the story, like where were you? Like what did you eat? Like, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I don't remember the name of the place, but we just walked right down by the uh -huh. by the river. They had like the patio and all that type of stuff, and people walking by you, and people just sitting in the park hanging out. So, uh, you know, actually we kept it real simple, just because it was a long flight. They had pizzas, so we ordered pizzas. But I think today we're gonna try out the schnitzel and stuff oh, cool. like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was never an NHL star, right? No, exactly. So I, it's it's you know it's it's cool to see. It's fun to see. It's it's good for him uh, as well. It's it's nice to see uh, another face up uh, other than Connor. So I think he's he's enjoying it as well. So uh, um, like again, I think we're all looking forward to Wednesday night. When you played overseas before, was it a huge adjustment to the ice, or was it just? It, it was. Uh, I remember the the Belfast game. Um, you know, even though you know they weren't a very good team, but we found ourselves down one nothing, and it didn't take till like the last minute of the second period to finally get a goal because we were kind of out of our element with the big ice. Just the the width of it. You know, you kind of don't know your bearings, and and the net seems to be in a different spot uh, than what you're used to. So uh, we ended up. Beating them six one, but we found ourselves down one nothing. So it, it took it took almost two imperi two periods to adjust to that. And even today, at times, it felt kind of weird when we were doing the five on five stuff uh, down low and and all that type of stuff. Especially as a winger, you don't realize how far you have to come over and how uh, far it is to get out wide. So uh, it is a little bit of adjustment, but you know it's just one game, and then you get back into your element. What do you think about the chance to showcase the NHL product for fans? I, I think it's great, I th especially I think, uh, you know, hockey's got a bit of a buzz going in, in Germany with uh, them finishing second in the Olympics. And 
uh, with us having two Germans on the team too, it's uh, you know I, I think it's definitely creating uh, you know a buzz and, and all that type of stuff uh, um, for Wednesday night's game for for us to be able to showcase the, the talent here in, in a different part of the world. So um, it's great, especially when you got uh, you know the best player and, and another top player with Leon uh, uh, coming. To, to play here to showcase off the talent. So, like I said, it'll be a good night on, on Wednesday. How's that seeing all the different Oilers jerseys? I know I've seen a couple around. People have actually traveled with you guys to watch you over here. <laughs> I think it's great. I think it's, uh, I think it's awesome uh, that they came to share the experience with us. So, uh, just like us, I think uh, the people that traveled out here are going to enjoy the city and have a good time.